Hello, I'm Kristen Volk and this is a UPI White House Weekly. President Obama opened the doors to the White House today to discuss how to fix the world's costliest health care system. More than 100 people from both sides of the aisle convened, including doctors, patients, insurers and business owners. The summit focused on reducing and containing costs while expanding coverage. In his opening remarks, Obama said that in order to create jobs and rebuild the economy, we must address the crushing cost of health care. The U.S. spends $2.4 trillion a year on health care, but yet an estimated 48 million Americans lack coverage. The president added that making investments in reform now won't add to the budget deficit in the long term, but is one of the best ways to reduce them. And keeping his focus on the issue of health this week, Obama announced his picks for his health care team. He nominated Kathleen Sebelius, the governor of Kansas, to lead the Health and Human Services Department. Nancy Ann DeParle has been selected to lead the Office of Health Reform. DeParle was a part of the Clinton presidency, working in the Office of Management and Budget and the Health Care Financing Administration. Sebelius has been a strong supporter of universal health care and was once Kansas's insurance commissioner before becoming governor seven years ago. Obama originally nominated former Senator Tom Daschle to cover both positions tapped by Sebelius and DeParle, but he withdrew his name from consideration over tax issues. And in a visit to the U.S. this week, British Prime Minister Gordon Brown said the world is facing an economic hurricane that can only be addressed by global cooperation. Brown met with President Obama at the White House, where Obama assured him that the special relationship between the two countries was as strong as ever. They agreed that a joint effort to tackle the economy is required. The prime minister also spoke to a joint meeting of Congress and outlined measures to reignite financial growth. He called for global rules and standards that would apply to banks everywhere. Lawmakers like Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell responded to Brown's address, saying that he posed an interesting question about how far international cooperation could go. But he said the U.S. needs to focus on its own economic problems now. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching this UPI White House Weekly. And for more on these stories and all of the day's news, go to UPI.com.